And, and Steve touched on this, that the heartache and the devastation, it is being felt well beyond that community tonight. Right here in San Antonio, there was an opportunity this evening for people to mourn and to really just lean on each other. Yeah, they're ho we're holding an interfaith community service. It's happening right now at San Fernando Cathedral. And that is where we find our Camelia Juarez. The prayer vigil just got started. Describe to us what's happening out there tonight. Well, Stephania, Myra, like you said, the event just got started. People are slowly starting to trickle in. There's about 100 or so people. They just released some balloons right now. Now, many of the people say that they came to have some action, do something besides doom scroll. We've seen people bring flowers, balloons, candles. The mayor, the county judge, sheriff, and police joy chief also joined us at this service, but one San Antonio man, Antonio Infante, says he came to be with the community, especially because this hits so close to home. Last night it did hit me the hardest, uh, the fact that it was, you know, just, you know, it's, it's Uvalde, you know, and it's a bunch of Chicanos and, you know, just people just trying to make it out there, you know, and, and I can see my family in them and, you know, just seeing the, the pictures of some of those kids, you know, and. Now, if you're at home and you're feeling helpless, there are things you can do to help. You can donate blood or the Bear County DA set up to funds. Proceeds will go directly to the victim's family um, or those surviving victims. There are children in the hospital as we speak. And the other fund will go to nonprofits serving the Uvalde community. Now, you can donate at the San Antonio Area Foundation uh, forward slash Uvalde. Stefania, Myra.